All right, let's see what we can do. What's up, YouTube? Welcome to the Gun Meister. One of the questions I get asked all the time is what gun do I use for a home defense gun? The truth is I have a Maw Deuce mounted to the footboard of my bed. That way if an intruder comes in, I can just unload, cut him in half, cut the house in half, and just clean it up in the morning. But the sad truth is a lot of people don't have access to that. So this is what I recommend. Something like this ATI AR-410 tactical shotgun. This right here looks like a regular AR-15. And in some ways it is. The difference is here, the receiver is a little bit different so it can accept the bigger mag for the 410. The bolt carrier inside here is a little bit different. This barrel is not rifled. It's a smooth bore shotgun barrel. The other thing that I hear a lot, I talk to people about it and they say, well, my home defense gun is a shotgun. I keep it loaded with slugs or I keep it loaded with buckshot. If you're using that kind of ammo for your uh, home defense gun, you may want to rethink it. Let me show you why. We've got 22 pieces of uh, drywall and what that does is that represents 11 walls in your house. Usually the interior wall is like a piece of drywall, a 2x4, and another piece of drywall. I'm going to shoot this with a slug out of that 410 and show you why you might want to rethink that. Check this out. Inside here we got a uh, 410 rifled slug and I'm just going to shoot it one to the center of this drywall and let's see how many it goes through. Okay, so we went through one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, and we put a big dent in fourteen. So check this out. This one is the last one it went through. So it went right in, right out. On number fourteen right here, you see it put a little dent, but here's the actual slug itself right there so that went through seven interior walls which could be a hell of a problem especially if you have people in these other rooms we're gonna load this up with buckshot I'm gonna reset these targets let's do it again so now I've got this loaded up with uh, triple up buckshot we'll do the same test and see what happens all right let's see what that did went through the first one we went through the second one, third one, fourth one, fifth one, sixth one, seventh one, eighth one, ninth one, tenth. And at this point, your hole is getting really big. 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16. Right here, one of the balls. And a little tiny dent right there. For me, that's just not going to work. So with that being said, let me show you what round I like to use in my shotgun for home defense. Check this out. So what I've got here is Winchester number eight. So to put this into a little more like true perspective, we've got El Pollo Loco hanging out right here. And I'm going to shoot through him and shoot the drywall. And let's see what it does to the drywall at that point. That's exactly why I like that round. Let me show you this. So this is the board that he was sitting on right here. We get rid of that, all right? That's the board behind him. Look, you've got all the little pellets in here, but nothing has passed through. The second board of the back side of the wall, perfectly fine. That's from before. There isn't even a dent on it. This is the chicken. Look at the absolute devastation that has happened there. So it's ripped through him and uh, you haven't killed Aunt Susie in the next room. That's why I like that gun with that round. Don't think for a second that this gun, even though it's a shotgun running a bird shot, can't screw things up. Check this out. Another thing you might want to consider for your home protection setup, booby traps. Here's a tip from the Gunmeister. Number one thing you always want to do, booby trap the TV. Because when people break into your house, they're always after your TV. So this is basically what the inside of my pantry looks like. 
and it's mostly just there for home defense. Let's try this out and see what we can do. Well, that uh, changes the dynamic of the pantry a little bit. Let's see what else we can do. That's going to do it for this episode of the Gunmeister. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, make sure to like, share, and subscribe. And as always, happy shooting. We'll see you next time on the Gunmeister. Probably gonna need to pick up a fire extinguisher or two. You're not doing that around me again. Holy shit. Well, next time something's flying at you, you gotta get out of the way.